<sighs> God. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Ha! <laughs> you guys. Just, yeah. Just trying to play catch up. Kill me. <laughs> What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you some movie news you can find on your own, but I'm gonna find it for you and tell you about it. Snapping. I appreciate you guys clicking in, and I appreciate you guys bearing with me as through this tough time, you know? Like I said, Tuesday's video, Tuesday's Film Junkie video is just gonna be voiceover, images. Hopefully you were digging that, hopefully you checked out Tuesday's video. If you haven't, check it out after you're done. There's some cool shit on there. Anyways, let's talk some more movies. All right, Batman vs Superman. Um, not too much coming out of that world in the past few days, but there was a post that I forgot to get up that was actually by David Goyer, the writer, one of the screenwriters. Um, they actually, you know, brought in the Argo screenwriter to help finally tune the script, which is awesome. I mean, David Goyer's he's a good he's he's a good writer. He just, eh. For the most part, Man of Steel, the story was pretty done. It was done pretty well, I should say, but we'll see what happens with that. But anyways, he talks about balancing the characters, because obviously we got two big, super, two, well three, technically, big superheroes in this movie, and who knows how many cameos we are going to get as well. So he talks about honoring the characters, but he says, you know, you gotta like, you gotta change it up a little bit. He knows that there's fan backlash when you do stuff like that. And I mean, no matter what, fans are just, you know, the diehard fans are just gonna bitch, no matter what. And it sucks too, because when you try to tell like a different perception, like a different kind of iteration of it you know you just you're gonna get hell for it I mean as long as you don't strive too much from the origin from the source material you'll be okay so he talks about that I mean <laughs> I think David Goyer should call up Joss Whedon and be like hey how do I fucking do this because let's face it Joss Whedon he knew how to do it when it came to the Avengers and he balanced every one of those characters Perfectly. So I think it's kind of awesome that you know like David Goyer and Zack Snyder and whoever else they put their heads together David Goyer threw out a story wrote a script and then they're bringing in an Academy Award winning writer to just kind of shape it and finally tune it I think that's smart, you know, just to just, yeah. Be optimistic guys Avengers 2 yay more set pictures check it out boom 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 some more Ultron look at that mm. Look at that mask, it's pretty crazy. And you know what? I have a crush on Elizabeth Olsen. I'm, I, I do, I do. She's freaking, she's hot! She's, and she's the baby sister of the Olsen twins. It just cracks me up how that is, because they went nowhere, and now she's starring in one of the biggest movies, probably the biggest movie of 2015. And also, this year, she's gonna be in Godzilla, which is gonna be one of the biggest movies this year. I mean, she is just, she has a career ahead of her, and her sisters must absolutely fucking hate her. How much of a class act is Joss Whedon? Well, this is this is it. Okay, so they're filming in South Korea. I'm not exactly know what town or city or whatever, but of course, when you're filming a movie like this with this kind of magnitude, you're gonna make your presence known. So obviously, it's loud. It's loud for the townspeople. It's gonna be annoying as hell. So he shoots a quick video on set apologizing to the people of that town, saying that hey, you know, I live in LA, and a lot of Shit happens, a lot of noises that happen nearby, and it is annoying. And he goes, you know what, I'm sorry, but hopefully it'll be worth it, because I'm try we're trying to make you an awesome flick. God damn it. Somebody clone Joss Whedon so he just makes all the freaking sci-fi superhero action movies? The guy's a saint, man. I mean, jeez. Tell you what, the guy's just a class act. For doing that, that's pretty awesome stuff right there. If you want to check out the video and hear the apology, I'll have it down below. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Sequels and prequels. You guys want to see what I look like when I wake up in the morning? <laughs> it's actually very close to that. Now that is our best look and creepiest look at the Green Goblin in Amazing Spider-Man 2. Holy shit. And of course that's Dane DeHang. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he looks like. Pretty intense makeup there, but I like it. It's a lot better than Willem Dafoe in a fucking mess, Spider-Man. I think I already used that joke on one of the previous shows. Reboots and remakes. Terminator, Genesis, or Reboot, whatever you want to call it, they have cast their last lead role. And this was a random one. I was like, whoa, they're going to cast that character? You guys remember in Terminator 2, you guys remember Miles Dyson, the guy who allegedly was behind the whole Skynet thing because they found Cyberdyne systems, they found the chip, and he was the one researching. He was leading the research team on the, the chip, the microchip and the arm and everything. Well, he had a family, of course, and we saw that. Um, and he had a son. Well, guess what? They cast Deo something, and that guy, you see a picture. Yeah, he's got a crazy name, but yeah. They cast that guy as Miles Dyson's son. 
So there you go. This is a, this is gonna be a crazy movie, man. I was like, wow, they're gonna have Miles Dyson's son in this flick. That's interesting, but I like it. I'm really looking forward to this flick. I just want to see what they do when they're jumping through the timeline. It's going to be interesting. I'm excited for it. Let me know what you think. And that's all the movie news I wanted to talk to you about this Saturday or Sunday or whenever the hell I upload this. Please hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And visit FilmJunkie.com for your latest in movie news, movie trailers, and movie reviews. Yeah, it's a good place. Anyways, guys, I am David, the Film Junkie, and I brought you some movie news you can find on your own, but I found it for you, and I told you about it. <laughs> well, easy. You're welcome. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. Trying to play catch up today on this Saturday. Yeah, got distracted last night. Just friend, a friend in need. That's what it was. So, I was the, I needed, no, I don't even know where I'm going with this. Anyways, bye. <laughs>